Okay, we're going to be talking about uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi. Uh, this is a uh, router with two APs uh, that I've purchased used from Facebook Market. Um, uh, obviously, it comes with one router, two access points. Uh, they are designed very similarly. Um, the router is a little bit bigger than the access points. Um, nicely packaged um, from the factory, I guess. So the router, what you see here, um, again, very nice design, looks almost like Apple-ish, um, has a WAN port, power, and LAN port, um, in case you want to plug in things like a switch, you know, to have hardware connections for other things. Um, and uh, the, I will, you know, power it on. Um, the uh, router is the only one that actually has physical ports. Um, Putting things aside so they get the uh, power cords. Um, so once it's plugged in, um, we're going through a factory reset process. Um, and this, I just trying to make sure that it doesn't scratch anything. Um, the power cord is round plugs plus um, pretty decent length cord. Um, the issue that I see this is, it, while it's nicely designed, it looks cool, um, but uh, the plugs are big um, and they are taking more space than necessary. And so uh, if you plug it into a power strip, then the, the port on the left or right, won't you won't be able to plug anything in there. So we're gonna go through the reset process. You're gonna press and hold the factory reset button and then plug in the power. And then you need to watch the LED in the front. So once it's plugged in, um, you wait a little bit and you're gonna see lights flashing in and out about eight times. Um, so, and there it goes. So it's gonna flash about eight times. Once it does that, it's gonna disappear and you're gonna let go of the reset button. So, okay, so let it go. And then it's gonna do this full reset thing. It flashes a couple times, goes away. And then it's gonna come back, I believe, orange. So, or actually, no, it's not. Uh, it's very faint white uh, light that comes on. Something happens in the background, and then eventually it will it will display a solid orange. And that solid orange is gonna take a while. Now I've seen many videos about resetting this uh, router, um, and a lot of them will say, "Oh yeah, just press and hold and reset, and you will see like a fla light flashing at some point." Most of them don't tell you that the reset process takes almost 10 minutes to complete. Um, unlike many other routers, that doesn't take that long. So now you see it's got that solid orange or yellow light. Um, it's going to stay there, and it's going to stay there for a pretty good long time. Um, you know, about 8 to 10 minutes. Um, and so we're going to cut this video short, this part, and then we're going to cut right into the part where to actually finish um, restoring, right? Because uh, otherwise we're going to be here for a while. So uh, now that we have it fully reset, uh, you will end up seeing a very faint white LED that stays solid. That means that the device is ready to be configured. And uh, we're going to pull up the uh, Google Home app, um, add a device, and then uh, Google Nest, and then select uh, the, the location, uh, which is really, I think it's the, you could you know call it the house or you know location or whatever. And then it's going to scan the device. Um, I think it's used a low power Bluetooth to scan it. And once it's found, it's going to ask you to continue and then scan a QR code on the back of the uh, device. And uh, we're going to scan that. It, it configures fairly decently quick. And then it's going to connect to the local Wi Fi that is by default set up on the router. And then once you do that, um, it will. Uh, finished configuration um, such as SSIDs and passwords and all that stuff. So um, this is where it is just, you know, the app is connecting to the actual router. Um, and then you set up your SSID and then you put in password. Now, the whole process does take longer than, I, than I'd expected. Um, you know, it, it, I think it took me a good half an hour to fully complete everything, uh, which seems a little long. Uh, for just a router Wi-Fi, you know, setup. Um, I have TP link here so that doesn't take this long. So then you select the location of the router, right? And then it'll tell you that within that Wi-Fi network, uh, you have a Wi-Fi device that is in, you know, like in this example, you know, I select office and you'll see an office Wi-Fi. And then I think I set up one of the APs to be in the den and then another one in the um, 
family room or whatever. So then it will tell you that here's fan Wi-Fi, office Wi-Fi, and then living room Wi-Fi or whatever, excuse me, wherever you put it. And it's going to go ahead and finish creating the network. Uh, once it's created, there's going to prompt you to add, you know, access points. Um, and if you go through that process continuously, I don't think it actually asks you to to inst or to scan any QR codes on the on the APs. It'll just continue doing it. Once it's configured, you join the network that you created, um, and then it's going to finish up the process again. This part takes longer than expected. I think it took a full good, um, you know, three to five minutes to complete. It does give you some indications that it's finishing up and it's doing its thing, and yeah, but it just, it's just just annoying. This thing just spins and spins and spins. So okay, now you set up additional device, right? Powered on the AP. You got the lights that stays on and then it goes away, um, and it'll finishing power up. Uh, the light on the bottom will change from white flashing to orange flashing or orange solid orange and it'll tell you while it's booting up it'll tell you something like um, your device is ready to be configured in the app if you don't have it please download it and go through it um, and I'll also tell you that the microphone it's on or off mine is off um, which I think it's probably white is orange I don't want Google to listen to my conversations or voice so I had it physically turned off, right? And then now you have the app again to add the AP, um, you know, to add it to the same Wi-Fi. Um, um, it's yeah, it's gonna find your Wi-Fi. In my case, because I added after the fact that it's actually gonna um, ask me to scan the QR code on the back of the device, uh, which is fine. It's just you know fairly easy. So. Yep, you just scan it and then it'll finish. Right, improve now. Um, and then I think I select family room. Okay. And then um, once that's done, it says it's connected. Uh, no, I did not send the usage status to Google. Um, it's just, again, just a bunch of stuff that it asks, um, it takes a while. So then it's can finish configuring a bunch of stuff like yeah do you want to do it yes sure why not um, and then while it's still asking about the Google Assistant I actually again have the microphone physically turned off on the device so they can't actually hear me uh, but it still asks for a Google Assistant um, setup so now the lo you know local network is gonna basically talk to the hub um, and then it's gonna you know do its own like mesh network optimizations and whatnot and then it'll tell you that's there and then I I think it ended up running a speed test once it's done so so yeah it's fairly straightforward regarding the setup but again it just take a while